I feel like I can be a franchise guy. You know, that's just how I've always been. You know, I feel like I can come in and make an impact right away and be the, be a guy that's, um, you know, capable of scoring or assisting, you know, night in and night out on a consistent basis. Um, you know, as well as being a pest on the defensive end. You know, I know I didn't show that a lot. I showed it at times, you know, in my college career. But, you know, I feel like I can make that a, a consistent part of my game. So, you know, I'm definitely looking forward to, you know, whoever I go to coming in and making an impact, you know, and being a leader for that team right away. Defensive intensity, um, you know, not over dribbling at times, you know, being more of a student of the game, you know, just different reads and things like that. I feel like my game has come a long way, you know, from my freshman year to sophomore year just because, you know, I watched a lot of film and you know, I wasn't playing at a fast pace. I was playing at my own pace and I was able to make plays because I was able to see things before they happened. So, you know, if I continue to improve in that area, I definitely feel like it'll improve my game. And what do you think you play like or try and emulate? Well, if I was to, um, you know, name someone that I play like, you know, I feel like Chris Paul is one guy that, you know, is. You know, I have similarities too. You know, I'm not, you know, I'm not comparing myself to him. You know, right now, but I feel like, you know, coming out of college, we had the same type of concerns from other teams. You know, size issues. Um, you know, he had a really, you know, our, our numbers were really similar in, in college, and um, you know, I feel like he makes plays not only by scoring, you know, by by getting others involved. He makes his teammates better, and when guys start, you know, playing off of him, he's able to, you know, make them pay by scoring. You're very prepared. Uh, nah, I wouldn't say anything that surprised me. It's just, it's just a new, it's just a new step. It's different, um, just because, you know, you have a lot of responsibilities that you have to, um, you know, take care of, as well as priorities that you have to attain to. You know, when I was in college or you know, in the off season. You know, you can somewhat like relax and you know, work out every day, but you can still relax. You know, you can't really do that now. This is, you know, I've heard, you know, like Draymond Green, I've heard Jared. Um, uh, I've heard a couple guys tell me that this is, you know, going to be your most bu your busiest summer of your life. So, um, you know, it's, it's an adjustment that I'm still adjusting to, um, but I'm, I'm trying to just have have as much fun as with, uh, with the process as possible. It's definitely an exciting, um, you know, exciting time in my life. You know, it's something I've been looking forward to. You know, growing up, and, um, and like you said, you know, coming out of high school, I wasn't recruited high. You know, even going into Michigan, you know, a lot of people didn't know about me locally. They did, but um, you know, I think just just people doubting me and uh, you know, with talking about the size issues. I think that's put a uh, chip on my shoulder. It's allowed me to you know play with more motivation or work work in the off season with more motivation, and then um, you know implement it into my game. What's the weirdest question you got so far? The one that you were like, what, what the uh, hell was that? Uh, why are sewers round? Why did they ask you that? <laughs> I don't know. What did you say? I said, um, so people can get out of them. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you know I, I have no clue. They asked me that, and I, I didn't know why they asked me, but they asked me. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, Indiana. Yeah.